It's been a long time since I drove this old truck through the streets of Youngstown, Ohio, delivering fresh Schwabel's bread to the customers on my route. That was a special time for me, and a special time for the Schwabel Baking Company. You know, there's a story behind this company, and it reads better than any novel about living the great American dream. You see, this story is true. And it all began in a small kitchen on Center Street in the Hazelton section of Youngstown, Ohio, in the home of Joseph and Dora Schwabel. The year was 1906, and Joseph Schwabel had built quite a reputation in the neighborhood for his delicious home-baked rye bread. Even then, attention to quality, freshness, and taste were the trademarks of Joseph and Dora Schwabel's modest bakery. Late into the night, Joseph would bake his delicious rye bread. And early the next morning, Dora would fill her baskets and set out on a bicycle, selling door to door to neighborhood customers and friends. Before long, business was so good that a storefront was built and new varieties of baked goods were added. By the fourth year, things were going so well that they bought a horse and buggy and hired their first delivery driver. All in all, they built a pretty nice business for themselves and their family, based on the simple concept of providing great tasting bread baked to perfection and delivered fresh each day. But the story was far from over, and no one was really prepared for what the future would bring. In 1928, Joseph Schwabel died from a sudden attack of appendicitis leaving Dora and their six children to fend for themselves. Naturally, everyone concerned knew that it would be too difficult for Dora to step in and take over the business. They all agreed she should give up the company and quit the business. Fortunately, giving up wasn't exactly what Dora Schwabel had in mind. Well, with the help of a lot of hard-working, dedicated people by their side, Dora Schwabel and her children took that company through the Great Depression and kept right on going. In fact, when things got so bad that even the banks had to close, she gave her own personal guarantee to suppliers that they would get paid for every ounce of flour shipped to her bakery. And for the first time, mills that had always demanded cash up front started sending truckloads of flour to Dora Schwabel on credit. It's hard to imagine, but somehow, in the midst of the most devastating economic depression in American history, this dynamic woman not only managed to stay in business, she doubled production. With the depression finally coming to an end, Dora and everyone at the Schwabel Baking Company looked ahead to a brighter future. Happy the Clown became a symbol of the good times to come, and the city of Youngstown, Ohio, was on its way to becoming one of America's leading steel producers. Spurred by the events of World War II, area steel mills were cranking up production at record levels, and the Schwabel Baking Company had already celebrated its 35th anniversary in 1941. In 1951, the company was again ready to expand. But Dora Schwabel was warned by bankers and other business experts that this was clearly not the time to invest in a large-scale expansion. Fortunately, she ignored their advice and built a state-of-the-art bakery on Midlothian Boulevard in Youngstown, Ohio, which today still serves as the company's corporate headquarters. 
By the year 1960, the Schwefel Baking Company had reached sales of over $2 million a year, baked over 100 million loaves of bread, and had expanded its territory far beyond the neighborhood streets where Joseph and Dora Schwefel once peddled their bread. In 1964, Dora Schwebel, who had kept the Schwebel's bakery going against all odds, passed away, leaving behind a legacy that is still recognized today as a truly great American success story. But Schwebel's remained a family-owned and operated company as the sons and daughters of Joseph and Dora Schwebel took their rightful place in the family business. Today, the third generation is carrying on the proud family tradition of the Schwebel Baking Company with the same personal attention to quality and customer service that has always been associated with the Schwebel name. The Youngstown Bakery that was originally built in 1951 has since quadrupled its production capacity and undergone a $2.5 million expansion project. New plants have been acquired in Cuyahoga Falls in Solon, Ohio, and the company now owns the long-standing Millbrook Baking Company in Cleveland, Ohio, which still sells products under the popular Millbrook label. Using a fleet of more than 450 vehicles and 20 distribution centers, Schwebel's now services supermarkets, convenience stores, schools, hospitals, restaurants, and other valuable customers in Ohio, Pennsylvania, West Virginia, and New York. With more than 1,200 employees and three state-of-the-art production facilities equipped with the latest technology, the company now produces over half a million loaves of bread products each day. Using only the finest ingredients, giant mixers can turn out 2,000 pounds of dough in a single batch. From here, the dough is taken to specially controlled fermentation rooms which provide the ideal climate and temperature for the dough to rise and develop the proper flavor and consistency for baking. The dough is cut, shaped, and placed into pans and goes through several controlled proofing processes along the way to assure accurate and consistent baking results. As the bread enters the ovens, special attention is once again given to the specific time and temperature requirements of each variety of bread, rolls, or buns. With the same care that Joseph Schwebel watched over his ovens at home, Schwebel's bakers, highly skilled and experienced professionals in the art of bread making, tend these modern ovens today. From the ovens, the bread is cooled, sliced, wrapped, and loaded onto tractor trailers, where the job of overnight delivery be Like I said, it's quite a story. And for many who are just beginning to carry on the Schwebel legacy, a chapter will someday be written that will recognize their part in the rich heritage of this unique company. And you know, whether you talk about its long and distinguished past, today's modern operations, or its plans for the future, the one aspect of this company that stands out above all others is pride. More than anything else, you can still see the same pride today that once led a small baker and his wife to try their hand at selling bread. Well, it's time for me to go. You keep buying the Schwebel's brand, okay? And we'll keep baking more of that great tasting bread. Oh, and one other thing. You can be sure that it'll be delivered as always, fresh every day. You got my personal guarantee on that.